Hi guys, it's Rachel here and we are going to do a, a little craft with me today tutorial. Well, we've done them before. For the life of me, I cannot find where I have put my hinged pages. Now, I don't think I use them all in journals, but I can't find them anywhere. So I don't know where I've put them when I moved because I'm, they're not in the same spot. So I need to hinge some pages and make pockets and... You know, I like to hinge these sorts of things and old book pages. I might hinge them with a digital. Um, I could hinge them with a with Florentine papers. Let's just grab something out of here in my bits. Something like this could hinge well. Uh, maybe a smaller one. I like to hinge them to not that one. Um, I like to hinge them to um, what's it called? Envelopes. Just grab a few papers out. I want longer ones. Not that's a short one. It's too long. Um, that'll do. And then I'll grab my book pages. I don't know where I put them. It's driving me bananas, if I'm honest. Searching, searching. Pages. So quite often I've, I've got um, sort of single pages. I use them for collaging, of course, but I also like to hinge them. Like these rag pieces. I've got some writing on it. And then I had, um, I'm probably getting low on those, some old sort of letters and things as well that I would hinge. Okay, put those aside. Oh, there they are. The, I don't know where the book pages are, though. The ones that I had already done. I know I'd done some, and I'd done some tricky ones with, um, you know, extending bits and... Um, Oh gosh, I can't get my words out. I'm so upset that I can't find them. I'll, I'm sure they'll reappear when I don't need them anymore. Well, I'll always need them. Okay, anyway, um, I need straw paper. I'm just going to grab, where are my plain papers? Coffee dyed paper, I need some of that. Let's take some coffee dyed paper. Here's a big art page. We could take some of that. Coffee dyed paper. I use these little ones. I like to hinge those. And I should have a box of... Where are they? Oh my goodness, I can't find anything. Planer papers. There they are. Okay. get myself in a mess. And plain papers. Oh, dropping everything. Oh my goodness. I pulled everything out now. All these plain papers and Just pulling out all the papers, guys. It's the land of the paper. Oh, my word. I'm still here. I'm so sorry. I should have pulled out all the papers before I just turned on the camera. Just randomly turned on the camera, as you do. What's in this one? Oh no, that's all. Oh wait, oh wait, I know what I like to, I would like to also use. Let's choose a couple of these. Right, 
Okay, so here we have an array of papers. And you can do all tricky things as well, and I need to do those because I can't find them. Very upsetting. Okay, that is going to be good for hinging as well. Okay, so let's start off with this piece of paper. This is just a craft piece of paper. I think this is a, a, a notebook that I got from Tiger. Um, so I think it's a Northern European company. And they make... Um, so I'm just going to fold this over. They make... You know, they have very inexpensive things. And that's going to be perfect, you see. Right. I've got a basket of scraps here. I'll just put those over there. don't need those. Oh, I could use some, you know, you could use strips also for your hinging. Um, you know, leftover strips. But I kind of like it when I can fold my page over. It's always a good exercise to do this. It's quite useful to have a stock of, and I did have a stock of them, and I can't find them. I don't know what I've done with them. I can't fathom, actually, where they might be. It's beyond me. There's one. How quick was that? Okay, so then we have this nice piece of paper. We'll find something that's a bit tall, actually, so we'll just take a bit off. Put everything away. I did. I'm going to take a bit off because it's too tall. I'm going to hinge it to this one. Quite a bit off. Okay. Oh, actually, you know what I could do? I'm going to fold that up and make that a pocket. Good. And just fold it over there. Did I even turn the camera on? Oh, and you're crooked. Sorry, guys. I'll just slide you over. There we go. Right, so we'll glue that down as a pocket. Actually, I need my thing, this thing. Oh, no, I think that's very crooked. Oh, no, not too bad. Okay. I just want to see I do have some pretty paper strips here I think I might use that um, I'm just gonna tear it on all sides and that's going to be my hingy bit it will be white inside but it'll be inside oops it will be inside a um, signature so you'll hardly even see it I am the worst tearer on this earth I think it does help if you don't have things under you. Okay, so let's see here how we're going. We need to take some more off. So we're hinging pages to put into journals. Fold that over. This is my hinge. Have my glue book. So run my glue down one side, and we've done this a million times, guys. Um, but I do, I do need to get some more, get some of these done because, and I need to hit glue it on this side because I don't want to glue the hinge on my pocket. So kind of try to put as straight as you can. Now, I may not have torn that paper straight, so that's why it's looking crooked. And then get the glue on the other side. And it does seem to stick very well. Grab your piece. I think I'm going to put it there. And what I do, rather than going like this, I put it, line it up on my other piece that I already glued down and just fold that over and stick it. And there's another one. Cool. I love that. This is very old. This was early, very early 1800s. You can even see the imprint there. Okay. Um, 
I'll try and do a few different variations. Chuck that over there. Close the glue drawer. Try not to fall off my chair. Um, now, I do have these. Let's make one of these with a digital. You, could, uh, you don't have to use a digital. You could use um, something like that. Um, maybe we'll do one of those as well. But I'm going to use a digital for the first one. And I'll use one of Steffi's if I can find them. One of Steffi's newbies. Here we go. We'll use this one. And what we're going to do, although that's a really good one for writing on. Well, that, I mean, it doesn't matter. We'll use this one. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, and I've, I have prepared quite a few of these, um, is, yep, I'll do it like that. Maybe not too wide. You don't want it to be too wide. Like so. And then that will fold over like that. And it's really easy. Now let me think. I am going to hinge that with something, so but I, I do need to... Fold it over further. Have I gone too far? No, good. I've left a gap there. Um, so glue it down on three sides. Here's my glue. So I always do it on my flap. Now this is going to be too tall. So I'll have to trim some off. Unless I'm doing a very big, a bigger journal. Just glue it all down and punch your hole, like your, you know, half moon. And then that's like that. So then this, I'm going to hinge onto something. This is one that I already made. See, I did trim that one down. I might trim this one down a little bit just because, you know, the majority of the journals are not that big. So I am going to trim some off. I can that can be like that can be a belly band or something like that. So I'll trim that off. I'll have to repunch my hole. Not my hole, you know what I mean. This, my this. Now this here, I'm actually gonna fold it over a little bit, just a tiny bit, glue that. I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna attach it to something, but it's gonna be a tuck. It's a nice way to have instant pockets in your journal. Worst folder and worst ripper in in the universe, I think. Okay. And like you can just mass produce these and just make many. And then I'm going to choose a page. I've got lots of paper here, as you can see. And it needs to be wide enough and strong enough. Something like, oh, maybe I'll do, I might do this vintage book page. It's a little bit um, crumbly. I wonder. See, that could go on there. No, let's choose this. I may need to take, well, I'd, I'll take the holes off, the whole part with the holes. So I don't need that. I've got to keep an eye on the time because I've got to go and make lunch. Lily will be coming back from school and Steph from work. And they need, they require lunch. I'm going to put this here and I think will I trim that no I, I could fold it up I'm gonna glue it there and then I, I might trim it off or I'll fold it up so then all I need to do is take this so it's kind of like hinging but um, uh, a little bit different so just say, excuse me let me put my page there I am going to run a bit of glue along here just to make sure I, I glue enough right to my edge. And then I'm going to run my glue along here and there. Because I'm making a pocket, so I need to do it on three sides. And I love that. Yep, that is gorgeous. And I have to decide here, I'll just make sure it all sticks, if I want to keep that bit. I could attach something to it. So maybe to give myself the option 
I will just fold it up and I can decide, you know, you could attach something and have a flip down if you wanted to. Or I could have kept it on the other end and had a flip up. So there we go. I love that. Really pretty. And I have these ones here not done, waiting to go. So maybe I'll do this one. This one, um, I'm going to do the same sort of thing. So I'll choose, a, I'll choose a different paper. This one's taller. This is the full height of the page. I'm sure I've folded that crooked as I always do. Punch my hole. Don't worry about too much about where the hole is because um, it's not tall enough. Uh, because um, what am I trying to say? Because I, I may have to trim it down anyway. Now this this is actually not a good choice of paper because it's brittle, but this is good paper. Yeah, I like the colours with this digital too. And again, I think I'll rip, I will tear that off. I think I'll do that now. I can use that as a hinge for something, you see. I'm going to leave that. So let's flip it around because I'm a lefty, so I have to go on my left-hand side. Put this like so. Glue. I need to get some envelopes to hinge as well. I like hinging those. I can't find them. They must be here somewhere. They've got to be somewhere. I just don't have the same storage as I had before because of space. And then that, I'm just going to fold that in so it can be a flip out or I can decide to take it off. And I think that is gorgeous. I love those colours. So that's that one, that one. I might do this one. And we'll choose yet another paper. And I'm going to do the same thing. doesn't have to. Like, you could hinge this to an envelope. You could hinge it just to a, a writing paper. It doesn't have to be hinged. Um, oh, I am hinging them to writing pages. I mean, yeah, you can hinge them to an envelope. You can hinge them to anything. Anything you like. This one I might use. That paper is a bit brittle. I've got the music paper. That's good. I don't know how well... Oh, what about this This amazing... This is rag paper. It's not really tall enough. There, to the rag paper. Let's hinge it to that. I think for the rag paper, I may... Because it's old and grimy, I wonder if that will stick. I'm sure it will. Where's my glue? I keep meaning to put it back in. Um, I've got little um, things to hold my glues here. And I always forget. And I didn't punch my little semicircle. I can do that in a second. Put my glue there. Now let's see what happens. Should stick. Okay. And that's a lovely piece of old paper. And I just want to fold that in. There, like that. Okay. So that's that one. Great way to use up those single pieces of paper. Here's this, these gorgeous. So I don't like that side. That would be a very tall, narrow pocket. So this one, I think I might hinge it that way. Or will I hinge it that way? It's the Palio in Siena. I think I'll just take off that crooked edge. And... Let's choose a paper to hinge it to. Maybe 
be this one. We haven't used this one. Oh, this one's quite wide. It's got writing on it. Um, I'm not keep putting it aside to keep the writing. I don't want to cover it up, that's why. I think I'll hinge this here on that side there. And that, I would cover that up. I'm not mad about that. So I need to just get my glue paper and glue that. And it's very tall too, this, so I, I might have to trim it down. Um, or I would just keep it for a, a, a taller sort of journal. Oh, yeah, that's a good thing to make note for anyone who's a newbie. Um, this is a very good technique. If you've got a big book, I have one flying around here. This, this is very big. Um, these kinds of hinged pages are, are good for those when you have big books. So that's that and I will I will trim probably end up trimming it down but I just leave it so I've got options and so that's there and I'm just going to fold this over like so I could even rip it off and keep that for a side tuck there's a nice hinged page to the horsies right let's do oh let's do these two I don't think they went to oh, 1874. Maybe they were from the same book. I don't know. Okay, so oh, I had this. Let, oh no, it's not big enough. Oh well, it wouldn't doesn't really matter if it's not quite long enough. But um, I will use something longer. Let me see. I've got some more here. Got more pieces. Like this color I do need to pull out some envelopes as well they're good hingy things as well um, and I will Oh my goodness, I'm thinking about the mess. All the stuff that I pulled out that I have to put back. So we're going to put okay. This one I'm going to hinge down that side because I don't want to, I like that edge. And there we go. Okay, let's grab. I don't have any of my lovely, the lovely um, new envelopes that I ha normally have there. Oh, that's the opening up there. Okay, so I'll do it on this side. I'm just going to hinge this to any piece of paper. Well, I might do this one with the writing and have it go around the corner. How about that?
find this is the easiest way and I will trim down the piece of paper. And also the little bit of the top of the envelope because it's crooked. And if I needed to, I can fold that in. But there we go. We've got an envelope hinged to the piece of paper. Let's see. Why don't we hinge? The oh, those two will be nice together. Then I'm going to use this as my hinge. Plenty of glue on. Now, I didn't fold the other paper because um, it's vintage, you know, like from the 90s, and it might crack. So I prefer to fold the paper that I know won't crack it, which is the new tea dyed paper. But I even love that look that it creates on there. Now, I want to use this. I'm going to do smaller paper. Oh, here we go. I've got this lovely piece of paper. Oh, that? oh, that's going to be perfect. So is that going to be strong enough for my hinge or will I fold? I think I'll fold this one over. Just a little bit. We'll do a little hinge. I definitely find it's easier to put the page on the non-glue piece and then um, hinge it, glue it, stick it down. So we've got a little, little one here, look. a little I might use those for something else I just pulled out a whole lot so oh that's cool oh perfect okay so I'm going to hit glue this this is rag paper so it's very strong it's so textural I just love it What is the time? Oh, I didn't use this one. I want to use that. 106. So I do need to go soon. But I might come back. I'll just see how long the video is. I can come back and do a bit more. Maybe get my envelopes out. So that's going to hinge on there. And we will fold it in to there. Now this one, in reality, I could just tear it in half. I don't really need to hinge this one, do I? I'll just tear it. 
take off the curly edge there. Don't need that. And just fold it about there. And that's, I don't need to hinge that. That's not a hingeable page. Okay. And nor is that. I can just fold that too. And you can hinge like um, invoices. Where's my friend? I've got more down here, just a sec. I don't think I'll pull out anymore, actually. Getting myself into a big mess. I'm going to hinge this to the, um, what's it called? I'll take that bit off. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video and um, I'm going to go and make lunch and then I'll come back and we will do some invites. Hey guys, so I'm back. Had lunch. It's now actually a few hours later. Um, I'm going to fold that over. I know it's ripped, but I can put something on there to fix that. And there's that page. I did pull out some envelopes. I couldn't find my green ones. They're in there. I couldn't open the cupboard because I've got things in front of it. So I wanted to do some hinging with these. I don't know where these envelopes came from. So let's just grab, we're just using these papers that are here. Oh, that was folded. I think I'll keep that. That was folded like that. That can go in a pocket somewhere. And it had more attached to it. It was one of the the grace pages, um, grace letters um, that had all the, they were coming apart, but I think I'll keep that. Anyway, long story short. <laughs> oh, dear. oh, a nice piece of, I wonder why that is all like that. I didn't cut that. I should keep it like that, shouldn't I? Um, oh, when the, my variety of pages is going down because I keep rejecting everything. Oh, I know. I might attach this like that. I'm going to make that a pocket. Let's do that. I've got to, I'm actually going to fold that over because if that gets damp, then it will glue shut. Now, is that really crooked? It's a little bit crooked. That needs to glue this glue. So I want to put it on my paper here. And then I need to shoot up like that there and there. Because the paper is a little bit shorter than the envelope. When that dries, I'll, I'll do my little semicircle punch. And I'm going to fold that in there like that. I could tuck it in, but I could, I'll put something there. Like when I decorate it, I'll put some sort of um, strip there like we have in the past. And that will hold that piece of paper in. And I need to remind myself that that is a... Okay, so I think I'll do this now. 
and I think the more of these things that you do, the more little ideas and variations come to mind. So that's one envelope. And let's grab one of these. Now with these, I do take that off and then I kept that and I made that into a little corner pocket. See, that's a great little corner pocket. So I'll put that aside and I can hinge. Maybe I could do that little page. What else do I have? About this one. Okay, I think we're going to hinge that. So I'm going to put some glue on there. Oh, then it's an enough. It's not big enough. So I'll hinge it to this one. Okay. I might even just glue that up. Okay, oh, let's look at these, I've got this lovely page, I really just am interested in that, take that off, and I'm going to take off the excess at the bottom where the writing is there, because we don't need that. What are you doing, silly goose? It's a dry, wet one, so I just hopefully that won't stick. Okay, what else did we pull out? That page doesn't really need to be hinged. Although I could actually, I might hinge it that way and it can be a pull out. Fold straight to save my life, honestly. That one and let me see. I just want to see what other book pages I have. See, this one's all ripped, but I'm going to tear off a little bit first of all because there's glue there. lumpy okay and I am going to hinge 
maybe one of these old papers. So I might take, because it's very tall, um, I'm going to take top and bottom off. First, I'm actually going to glue this on and then I will fold it. Because I had that, um, that rip there, so then I'll just fold that like that. I can fix the rip and that can just fold in. Because it's very frail paper, I'm going to actually glue that it back down on itself. So that way it's um, a bit stronger. Okay. just repair that now with a little scrap let's see what scraps I've got flying around oh I need a longer piece my little book repair okay and then we have uh, let's do one of these long ones Now I'll probably have to trim them down because um, trim it down because it'll probably be too long. So I might just make sure I line it up at the top like that, and then I can trim off anything I need to at the bottom. way you can stitch in an envelope into your signature. And I won't bother cutting it off on the bottom until I need to. And they really do stick. They really do. So this can be my hinge on that one. Now I won't, I don't use that bit. I will cover that and open it on the other side um, because um, that's hard to get into when you're in the centre of a signature. Oh, I might attach it to this lovely page. Now I'll leave that and take off. Yes, I'm going to attach that there. I 
Okay. Sometimes I cut off the sticky bit because they're quite big, um, you know, flaps. But this one I'm going to, I've just decided to keep it, obviously. Glue that on there. Oh, isn't that wonderful? And then I'll fold that at the time. Oh, I might take that bit off. Um, I'll fold it when I come to putting it in the journal because I don't know what journal it's going to go in. Oh, I lost a little man. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. So there we go. Got plenty done. Um, lots and lots of hinged pages. I need to definitely try and find where my other ones are. Unless I used them all. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I had more envelopey sort of ones left. Um, but you can get a lot done. All different types. Some with envelopes, some without. This one's going to be cool because this one will, I'll put something there to hold it shut. That's the thing. That will all be repaired. That's just a folded page. I just folded those two because they really didn't need hinging. Like if you've got little single um, art book pages, you can hinge those because quite often, it, you know, they were glued into the book. So then, you know, that you can't pull them out double. Love that. That's a hoardy piece. Um, we can, you can use your decorative papers. So that one is like that and then but it opens out. one just plain here we've got the Florentine paper and the old book page a vintage envelope oh that's so many beginning of a front page of one of those um, soft covered antique books and then here I made the pockets the yeah the pockety sort of things with the digital and when I glued it onto the paper it I made a tuck there as well did a few of those I love that that's the new paper and then this one here we've got the the back of an, a beautiful antique book I made a pocket there and that was the first one I need to use more of that paper I like that so there we go so I hope look at that in a very short session, we've got a whole lot of pages prepared to add some interest into journals and reuse those pages that are singles, single Pringles, as Lily would like to say. Um, and they don't have partners to, to be able to be stitched into a journal. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye. <laughs>